All right, guys, let's talk about outlet not working in your bedroom, in your living room, or part of your living room doesn't have a power, part of your bedroom doesn't have a power. So number one thing we're going to do is we will need these tools. All right. These are very, very cheap. If you don't want to call electrician or if you're someone DUI guy and you have far time, um, uh, locating the issue why your half of your bedroom has a power and half doesn't so we're gonna need these two tools all right so very first step would be go through all of the outlets plug it in it has a uh, uh, indicators here and description for each light combination all right so what you're gonna do is basically plug it in and see what's going on in my experience working as an electrician for the past three four years i have come across many many times even when they do like brand new homes like they just finished it it's just after like during inspection well, i mean it did pass the inspection but after the inspection when people started loading all these pretty much outlets stop stop, stop working or it has loose connection so what you're going to look for, in my experience, um, back to my point, in many cases, it was basically one loose wire, okay? And it's mostly, it can be either one, okay? It can be neutral, it can be hot. If it's neutral, open neutral, uh, another way would be is if you have a voltmeter, you're going to basically plug it in into these terminals and see what's the voltage. 87 volt is open neutral. Okay, you should have in your circuit 120, but if you have um, if you have 115, 120, that's the working voltage for any outlets uh, in the U.S. So if you have 87 volts, that's it. That's that's open neutral, and you will go further. So after basically um, going through locating the issue, number one step would be to turn off all of the breakers that are responsible for that circuit sometimes if you might have a big uh, living room right and it's it's on basically two breakers 15 amp uh, usually 15 amp breakers are responsible for outlets in your bedroom in your living room so make sure it's off okay after turning it off what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove these face plates and then from there you will have this tool voltage tester even before you remove after making sure that you turned off the power after removing this face plate before you unscrew these screws and outlet you're going to just go to the side terminals with this tester and make sure that it doesn't beep it doesn't have a power okay if it has if circuit still has a power, it's going to start beeping. It will be uh, flashing red. Okay. So make sure that circuit is off. Okay. And after removing the plate and then after removing the outlet itself, it will look like something like this before you touch these terminals with your hands or before you start visually inspecting the wiring. That's what you're going to do. Basically inspecting wiring. What's going on with the wiring. Okay you will again put this tester on wires and make sure that these wires are not hot are not powered okay and then after you pull out many many times um it's like this in and out basically power coming into this outlet and then it's going to another outlet and then again from this outlet so basically daisy chain and somewhere in that circuit you have a loose connection and in my experience many many times it's this type of a connection that fails okay many many times I have seen uh, these terminals get melted because uh, it will work for some time but um, mostly problematic uh, uh, connections were this type of connections of course there are times uh, you have people uh, electricians wire it through the uh, the wires right here for, through these terminals and then they just put a wire nut uh, but it could be just loose wire nut 
or maybe they stripped the wire and then it could be one that one wire neutral or hot going to basically to this outlet or next outlet through the wire nut when they put it you can see this wire nut it has little metal piece only right here that's where you can make a connection and sometimes people just don't strip the wire enough and that unstripped wire basically strip short stripped wire uh, has barely makes a connection inside of this wire net and it works for some time and it just stops working because wires move when they when you load them when they heat um, and that could be this type of a, a failure where it's inside of the wire nut and you just have to undo the wire nut take a look if all wires are making contact with each other so all right and then once you locate the issue if you have come across let's say connections like this where you might even see four wires two on terminals two in the back two right here two in the back you have to pigtail what does it mean which means is you're gonna put a bunch of wires in this case four wires five wires and there are specific wire nuts for that you're gonna basically feed the outlet you don't want power flowing through the outlet because when you have outlet powered like this basically uh, we have power coming in right and then going out to another outlet what what's happening in this case is that if you load this outlet somewhere here if you plug in something and you are using it right and then power is coming from the breaker to here um, it's basically uh, power basically flowing through this outlet and this outlet is basically loaded as well because it's heating it with uh, power is going through this outlet and what I don't like to do I I don't know about the legality of uh, like putting four wires maybe it's even legal that's fine because these terminals I mean they work but you can use them it's it's not like illegal or anything like that it's there to use it but what I do is I basically um, send all the connection through the wire nut and I just feed the outlet so I basically have two wires going into the outlet and it will work only when you plug in something that's when it gets loaded otherwise power will be going through to all of your other um, devices uh, through the wire nut and that's what I recommend if you when you locate the issue loose wiring or even melted outlet use terminals if it's two wires just like this coming in and out that's okay you can put it on terminals but if you have three or more please pigtail it and just um, feed the outlet okay don't uh, let uh, like it to be stay the same where you have four wires basically coming into one side four wires coming into one side or even three coming into one side three coming into one side so don't let that uh, stay like that once you locate it and of course you're gonna need wire um, in most cases these um, these type of outlets are 14 2 gauge you're gonna buy outlet strip it and just pigtail like this and then you're just gonna have one pair of wire coming into outlet and you're just gonna um, connect it right here all right so very simple you will you will I'm pretty sure you will be uh, easily uh, finding out what's the issue is 100% of the time when I have gone to um, not 100% but 99% of the time it was loose wiring right here or through the wire net all right and there were some times I had to go to the roof and access the attic and then just uh, locate the junction box where they do the wiring as well connection and that's where uh, it was loose wiring again neutral open neutral open hot so yeah that's the that's the simple um, troubleshooting and I hope it helps you and if you have any questions comment below 
I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Peace.